Hi, this is Jim Romer on this 23rd of December. Hope everyone has a really happy holiday. First of all, this has been a very Jekyll and Hyde weather pattern. We've had various long-range forecasts, some which have verified very accurately around the world, particularly for tropical commodities in West Africa for cocoa and South America for soybeans. We're seeing a major move down in soybeans the last week or so on the drought breaking in Argentina. Consistent pattern. Um, no effect of the tropical weather from La Nina or the Arctic Oscillation or the EPO. All these terms you hear about, the EPO, the WPO, can get very, very confusing. But the bottom line is it's not working to be a consistent winter pattern by any means. Um, so far, we've had warmer than normal weather in the east this winter, cold in the Midwest, particularly out west. And... Uh, this is why the EPO is going to become uh, negative again, meaning a block over Alaska that will bring a week or so of cold weather to the Midwest and Plains again. You can see over eastern, northeastern Siberia and China, here's Korea, a uh, strong northwest flow. And then look at the way the arrows point up next week into the Gulf of Alaska. This warming, this ridge has not been picked up by models until about one or two days ago. So the Canadian model is doing really well. Now the GFS models have the trend. So the key is not to get married to these long-range outlooks. We have to look more readily at what's going on here in eastern China and Siberia. Very cold, pumping up the warm air across uh, the Gulf of Alaska. So the models are underdoing the strength of this. When you have a ridge here in Alaska, it forces cold air uh, further to the east. So we're going to see uh, this trough. See this trough digging in about a week or so? That's going to bring about a colder regime across the Midwest. So probably 5 or 10 degrees below normal for about a week or so after the 5th or 6th of January. The question becomes, though, is it going to last? That's been the criteria or the question, actually, all winter long. Now, given um, various analogs we've looked at, given the fact that this is occurring, this uh, negative EPO, this ridge, forcing the cold air south. Um, it's not occurring from the stratosphere, you know, 40, 50 miles up, but from the ground up, without confusing everybody, the way things are happening is that it's um, these things tend to break apart. So my gut is right now, and it hasn't been easy, that we'll have, yeah, a week or 10 days of colder weather, probably moderating the, the toward the latter half of January, maybe even warming up again would be my guess. Uh, kind of a very volatile pattern, uh, but the EPO will probably not last for more than about a week to 10 days, which means a, a brief 7 to 10 day cold spell would be my guess this, at this point with uh, moderate confidence. Anyway, have a happy holiday. Bye bye.